With the IK solvers and helpers in place, you are now ready to add custom attributes to simplify the manipulation of the foot. In the last movie, you added a foot controller to simplify the animation of the leg as a whole. The foot controller is a scene object that's easy for an animator to select. This is why you will use it as a placeholder for custom attributes. This way, not only can you control the general animation of the leg, but you'll be able to control the foot's secondary motions as well. With the foot control selected, go to the Modify panel and add an Attribute Holder modifier. This is an empty modifier that you will populate with custom attributes. This will give you a custom UI to control foot behavior. To create custom attributes, choose Animation Parameter Editor. You can also press Alt-1 to open this dialog. Here, you define what kind of custom attribute you want and where it's going to appear. The most common destination is the selected object's current modifier default. After all, this is why you added the empty attribute holder modifier. There are other options, but this is really the most common place for a custom attribute to show. Next, you choose a parameter type. This depends on the kind of behavior you're expecting. There's also a preview, a little lower, to give you a hint of what these types are. For example, a boolean type is like an on-off switch and is displaced as a checkbox. A color type could be useful in a situation where you may want to change a light color, for example. In this situation, you're only interested in FK rotations, so leave the default float type active. A float type can be displayed as a spinner or a slider. This is a case of personal preference. Leave the spinner default active for now. You'll start by creating a custom attribute to peel the heel, lifting it about the ball of the foot. This is basically the same effect as rotating the heel peel helper. Again, make sure the foot controller is selected. Give the custom attribute a name, such as Heel Peel. The width value defines the spinner box width. Bring it down a bit to around 100. You can also choose an alignment. Choose right to eventually have all custom attributes aligned vertically to the right of the command panel. The range group defines minimum and maximum values for the spinners. If you were going for specific angles, it would be harder for you to define the correct values. However, you will be using the Reaction Manager to ultimately define correct rotation angles. So you only need to display a custom attribute range that makes sense visually, such as a percentage value. 0% means no rotation, and 100% means maximum rotation. The heel peel effect only rotates the heel upward, so you can set the range percentage as it is now. From 0 to 100. You may elect a simpler range such as 0 to 1 or 0 to 10. Actually go ahead and use a 0 to 10 range for this example. Click the Add button to add the custom attribute to the current modifier. At this time it doesn't do anything just yet but you can see that it ranges from 0 to 10. The zero value is meant to represent the heel in its currently rested position. Ultimately, a value of 10 will ensure the heel rotates up from the ball of the foot by an angle you specify later in the Reaction Manager. The parameter editor is now ready for a new custom attribute. Notice that apart from the custom attribute's name, all other values you adjusted earlier are still current. So you can easily create a similar custom attribute for the toe tap, for example. Next, create a custom attribute for the toe twist. Since the toe twist is supposed to happen in opposite directions, set the range from minus 10 to plus 10. You'll also need a toe lift
that ranges from 0 to 10, as it only rotates in one direction, and also a heel twist that rotates both ways, and a heel lift that also rotates both ways. If you make a mistake, you can go back and edit a custom attribute. For example, a moment ago, you set the toe tap custom attribute to range from 0 to 10. This suggests that the toes are rotating only upward. However, they should be able to rotate downward a bit, albeit by a smaller angle. This means that the toe tap custom attribute should have a minus 10 to plus 10 range as opposed to the 0 to 10 range. To edit the custom attribute, make sure the foot controller is selected and that you can see the attribute holder modifier. Click the Edit Delete button on the Parameter Editor dialog. An additional dialog appears listing all currently available custom attributes. Select the one you need to edit, in this case, Toe Tap. Change its range to read minus 10 to plus 10. Click Apply Changes to save the results. Test the new values. When you're satisfied, close the dialogs. In the next movie, use the Reaction Manager to link the custom attribute spinners to rotation values on the foot helpers.